If you just picked up the new Lenovo Legion Go S running SteamOS, or you're debating between this and the available Windows 11 version, this guide is for you. I love SteamOS. Unlike Windows 11, SteamOS gives you a snappy, distraction-free interface that gets you into your games fast. Here's why it's better for gaming handhelds. Right out of the box, it boots directly into gaming mode, giving you a very console-like experience. No desktop, no taskbar, just your game library front and center. Navigation is fully optimized for the touchscreen and physical controls, so you won't need a keyboard or mouse, unless you want to jump into some more advanced stuff, which we'll get into. When you put this to sleep, it actually goes to sleep, preserving battery life so you can play longer. Also got really great resume times. Unlike Windows 11, this only takes a few seconds to jump into your games. And another big plus, there's no Windows bloat or background tasks hogging up precious system resources. Therefore, we get more performance and battery optimizations that's tailored for gaming. Altogether, SteamOS delivers the best console-like experience that I've tried on any handheld and it's consistently getting better. Even though you can access the Steam Store on other operating systems, here's why it's so great on SteamOS. When you boot up, you're dropped right into your game library. Games and drivers automatically update in the background. Steam even has a great on-deck category in its store. If a game is Steam Deck verified or marked as playable, you know it's gonna run well on the Legion Go S, which actually has more power than the Steam Deck if you get the more powerful AMD Z1 Extreme model. That being said, sometimes other game stores like Epic have better sales, or if you've got a backlog on GOG or Ubisoft, unfortunately SteamOS doesn't support installing these directly, but you can get them running with a few extra steps. Here's how. Start by switching to desktop mode. Hit the Steam button, power, switch to desktop. Open Discover. This is SteamOS's app store where you can find some familiar options like Discord, Spotify, and VLC. Next, you can quickly access your virtual keyboard by holding the Steam plus X button. Here, you're gonna wanna search for and install Lutris, which supports Epic Games, Amazon, Ubisoft Connect, EA Play, and a few more. Once that's installed, you can log into your game accounts and download games from your library. Once you're done, you can leave the desktop mode by clicking on the return to gaming mode icon. If you're a Game Pass subscriber and you've been playing on Windows handhelds like the ASUS ROG Ally, you'll miss native support here. Games like Black Ops 6, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, and Oblivion can't really be installed locally through your Game Pass subscription. You're stuck with Xbox Cloud Gaming, which can be fine if your internet is rock solid, but it's not the ideal choice for offline play or visual fidelity. But if you still want to play them, here's a faster way to access these titles. Start by opening desktop mode. Install Microsoft Edge via Discover. Yes, it needs to be Edge as it has controller support. Add Edge to Steam as a non-Steam game. Right-click Properties and paste this code into Launch Options. I'll also drop the code in the description for you to copy quickly. Next, rename Edge to something like Xbox Cloud so you know what it is. Back in gaming mode, navigate to the non-Steam tab in your gaming library and you'll see this new shortcut we just created. Launch it and then sign into your Game Pass account and you'll be able to quickly access these Xbox Cloud Gaming titles. You'll now be able to stream games like Halo Infinite, Forza Horizon 5, Starfield, and a lot more. Just remember, no offline play and visual quality heavily depends on your internet connection. So it might be worth buying these games on another supported store so you can play them locally. Now that I've shown you how to get the most out of SteamOS, here's some awesome games that'll run great on your new Lenovo Legion Go S. Swinging through NYC never gets old, and Marvel's Spider-Man 2 brings even more action. It looks stunning on the Go's display with tight controls and dynamic visuals. You can easily hit 40 to 50 frames per second in performance mode, and this is a must play. For a brutal throwback, there's Doom The Dark Ages. This is extremely well optimized, delivering high frame rates, fast load times, and when combined with its iconic metal soundtrack, it's hard to put down. Still a jaw-dropping showcase for what handhelds can do, Night City glows in Cyberpunk 2077, and with its built-in Steam Deck graphics profile, it balances visual fidelity and performance better than ever. 
Virtua Fighter 5 is a lightweight brawler that runs buttery smooth, fights load fast, and the controls feel really great on the Go S, especially with the haptic feedback. Finally, you've got dimension shifting in your hands with the Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Even at lower resolutions, the game looks incredible as you're jumping between rifts, and nothing misses a beat here. With SteamOS on the Lenovo Legion Go S, you're getting a better console-like handheld experience with the flexibility of a full desktop just a click away. You'll miss on some of the freedoms that Windows 11 offers, but in exchange, you get smoother performance, better battery life, and a bloat-free, game-first interface. So if you want a Steam Deck-like experience with extra performance, the Lenovo Legion Go S is absolutely worth checking out. We've got more handheld reviews and content coming soon, so if there's a device, game, or setup that you want me to try next, drop a comment or reach out. You can find us everywhere at Tom's Guide, and you can follow me to see what other cool tech I'm reviewing. So until the next one, I'll catch you later.